Who is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. We know that God is triune, is the Father, the Son, who is the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. And we become born again and we can receive the Holy Spirit when we believe Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and we repent of our sins. When this happens, the Holy Spirit comes to reside within us. We know that from John 16, 8, the Holy Spirit came into the world to convict the world of sin, righteousness, and judgment. And when we're born again and receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is our seal. He is the validation to the Father that we are truly born again and saved. Because when we have the Holy Spirit, we, the Holy Spirit is sent from, from God and by God, and when God is living inside us, God's Spirit, who is the Holy Spirit, He reveals that we are truly born again, because the Holy Spirit does not reside in anyone who is not truly born again. And so the Holy Spirit, Scripture says, is our advocate. He'll speak on our behalf. He'll, he'll give groanings that are cannot even be uttered. He'll pray on our behalf. He's our helper. He will help us with certain things. He is, he's the spirit of truth. He's the spirit of peace. And we know that he comes with a variety of fruits of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We know that the Holy Spirit is for us and not against us. He convicts us. Uh, he can be easily... Um, uh, he's, he's like a gentleman, so to speak, and he, he is sensitive. Not that he is lacks power. He is very powerful. Scripture says that it's not by power and might, but by God's Spirit. But nonetheless, his spiritual power and, and who he is, he's not going to force his will upon us. There needs to be that desire for us to seek after him and his will and his power to help us uh, to understand the wisdom of God and then to walk out what God is declaring us. And so... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so he is the one who enacts out the Father's will through us. He is the one that gives us the wisdom. He is the one that discerns the Father's thoughts and makes it known to us. And so the Holy Spirit is the one who is always convicting us and helping us to walk along the way. He is sensitive. He can be grieved. He can be quenched. He can be suppressed. Um, but he can also have the fullness of what he desires to do be done in us if we are willing to deny ourselves, take up our cross, and truly follow Christ each and every day.